Some call him the best dressed man in the world. We call him Trent Clark. This is Trent <laughs> Clark, who is the founder and CEO of Upper Echelon. It's a clothier based in Seal Beach. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Trent. Thank you for having me, Amy yes. and Laura. Yeah, yeah. this We're is thrilled. quite the store that you've brought to us today on set. Well, you know, we're talking about fall fashions, and I always get, get excited when we're talking about fall fashions. So I think about when I was a little kid, and back I always, to back to school, <laughs> always look forward to the fall. Yeah. And so you'll see some, some things like corduroys. I mean, I remember buying cords mm -hmm. as a kid. Oh, I remember the cords. That was, <laughs> exactly. And so that was one of my favorite things. So fall and spring and fall yeah. mm -hmm. is just the time that I think as little kids, mm -hmm. we imagine that's the best time to, to freshen up our wardrobe. Well, yeah, I think you're ready, right? After winter, you're ready to go into lighter fabric, so spring is exciting. Mm -hmm. And after summer, you're like, oh my gosh, I want something that really feels good and feels rich. And as mm -hmm. the temperatures change, so do our desires. Totally. So that's this is beautiful right. stuff. It's beautiful stuff. And just for all of our viewers, I just want you to know I'm in the presence of greatness. I don't know why I am the one <laughs> directing this segment because <laughs> Lauren is the the former president of the Image Association of America and used to dress CEOs from New York. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah, I know. Isn't that That's amazing? how we met. So <laughs> these two can just talk and I'm just going to learn. I'm going to actually use my poor husband as an example for how we should dress him. We can so. totally do that. <laughs> Well, it's so much more fun to have you do it. I mean, we do this every day, right? So it's more interesting. You it's know, what does so somebody really want to know? What do we need to tell them about fabulous well, fall fashion? What I liked when you caress that, that right? it, it's not a tweed coat, but it has that tweed look, feel mm -hmm. to it. And as you said, just that is just one of the most comfortable and softest feeling. I mean, you're feeling it. So tell you me about this fabric because tweed. I'm used to. I mean, it's got the tweed mm -hmm. variation, but um, it is so light. It's like wearing air. Exactly. Oh, it's so beautiful. So it's more too. airy nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's lighter. So clothing is not as clunky as it used to be. Mm -hmm. And so when we think of, of fall. I mean, some of these things we, we could wear, you know, year, in, round. year round. We could wear yeah. in the summer. Now, just by the, the looks and the textures of it, it looks kind of out of place. So right. we, we probably wouldn't advise to do that, but mm -hmm. it's light enough to do so. But yeah, but that one, it, I, I love the blues in it, the blue hues, the little flecks of cloth mm -hmm. in it. So it gives you that fally feel to it. So tell me really quick, so is this like, do you wear, because I always think like suit jacket with like a button down shirt, but you can wear it with a polo, yeah? Totally, so we paired okay. it with a nice little polo. Um, to me, makes it a little bit more folly as well. Mm. Um, it it kind of has a little bit of that aqua-ness to that, mm -hmm. that polo, mm -hmm. but I, I thought it still worked. And what we could do, right, if we have... Okay. I'll be um, your Vanna White. It, right? You yep. can always do just, like, if you want to break out with the browns and play with um, mm -hmm. what we have in the pocket squares, right, blues and browns Absolutely. always go well together. Mm -hmm. And you can all... You, but then, of course, you can always go with the can expected, you go blue right? And blue? You can go blue can, and blue as well. Can you go blue well. and black, or is that a no-no? Uh, Depends well, how. Exactly, you could. You could do blue and black. Yeah. but. Uh, with the I nice gray slack, that's and now you yeah. have the blues, and so now nice. you got something going on. What there. would you wear? Would you wear jeans with the brown? So would you would wear? Um, still do yes. with the fun stuff. So sock. all, okay. all like this particular ensemble, right? You can dress it up with a nice pair of pants, mm -hmm. or you can wear jeans, or if you want to go corduroy, you could oh, do yeah. that. Oh yeah, that would look as nice well. too. Right? And you have that. all types of palettes of colors over there. By the way, when it, you really brought me back to kindergarten when you mentioned that because <laughs> <laughs> I had my favorite pair of pink corduroy pants. Really? I wore them all the time. Yeah. Those were the days. <laughs> yep, we all have our favorites. And on the back rack though, you have some custom and some other pieces. So yes. let's take a look at what's going on over there. Yeah, right, look, look at this stuff. beautiful piece. Uh, this is well, a... That one's not particularly custom, but um, we wanted to bring in, speaking for some of the business travelers that yeah. travel a lot, you may not wear this um, a lot in the Southland, mm -hmm. but if you're going to the East Coast, mm -hmm. it's a great um, ensemble to, to wear. Do you want to try it on? Sure. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. I, I, I look like I, I'm ready. I huh? probably should try it yeah, on. Yeah, this is, I'll, I'll try, mean, I'll, you know, I'll try it on. What I love, pretend I'm six I love the yeah, exactly. great alternative so, to mm -hmm. the standard navy or black. 
totally. It is. It's really cool. You can wear and it's right. yeah. I mean, it's different. I used to have a Calvin Klein coat that looked very mm -hmm. much like that. That was very much in women's fashion. So yeah. there's a lot of crossover. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be boring. It can other. have a little bit more texture going to it. You mm -hmm. got that chevron pattern in it in a camel. So well, I, I, I was looking at the way that you put these patterns together right here. If I'm using you as an okay. Yeah. So look at. I don't know if our viewers can see this, but I love how you've got like just really like. Like like a tone not, on tone check. Yeah, tone on yeah. What do you how do you say that? <laughs> tone on tone. <laughs> tone on tone, on tone, tone check. On tone. And then you've got a it's almost like an argyle or a what Yeah, do you call it? so it's, it's a plaid. Mm -hmm. A plaid, plaid tie. A plaid right. tie. And then you've got what do you call is it a chevron? And then chevron, chevron shirt. shirt. Chevron and shirt. the pocket square, a solid pocket square. Right, so it looks awesome. So when we're doing things in uh, of this nature, right? The average gentleman is just afraid to do texture on texture on texture on right. texture, yeah. uh -huh. right? It's normally navy, which mm -hmm. is a great go-to color. Mm -hmm. Navy suit, white shirt, navy tie. Right. And everything is, you know, super uh, boring. Super boring. Uh -huh. Matchy matchy. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we like to have a little bit more fun, and I like to push the envelope a little well, bit. Well, but you've done it in such a great way where it looks super classy and not like right. loud and like off. Super like stylish. Super polished. stylish. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And every man has his personality mm -hmm. that could be done in the very same way. It doesn't mm -hmm. always have to be um, the blue, the the IBM look, right? The blue suit, That's white right. shirt. Plain tie. What would you suggest, speaking of the IBM look, which is my m amazing, wonderful husband who likes the IBM look, but he's kind of wanting to break out into some new fashion. Yes. He's getting a little bit more daring as he's older, cares a little less about what people think, and he wants to express his own style. There you yeah. go. So what would you say about, like, what? how would you take a, you know, just an IBM type, mm -hmm. right? And have them help them like play with it a little bit. Have just a little Take bit of a baby fun. step forward. A baby step forward. Totally what would you baby recommend? steps, right? We we never want to put them in something that they're gonna feel uncomfortable, right? right. The, the the idea is to have them feel more confident mm -hmm. in what they're wearing and to give them confidence. Mm -hmm. So I always start with just by asking, you know, what do you want to convey when you walk into a room? Yeah. And we start by there. So whatever your husband would say, we would start there and just make sure that you know, we'll push the envelope mm -hmm. a little bit uh -huh. with the details. It may not be a little, you know, lapel rolls, but it, it may be. He might say, mm -hmm. yeah, I would do something like that. Mm -hmm. And that would be different. It's a nice conversational piece mm -hmm. for, for him. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, we'll, whatever it is, if it's, does he like cufflinks? Mm -hmm. And then we'll get an understated cufflink for mm -hmm. him that maybe gives him a different look mm -hmm. that's a little bit more dressy. Yeah. So it's always... I want to push the envelope a little bit so they mm -hmm. can get the compliments that mm -hmm. they deserve right. and that makes them feel even better. Mm -hmm. And so now as they get compliments, they're okay, let's do more. They trend, want to do right? more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's do yeah. More. Let's then they're that like, okay, that more. turned out well. So yeah. so my husband just bought like here's one of the patterns that okay. is, is really cool in here. So I so my husband just bought one very similar to this for a jacket. And those okay? are right, very folly. Uh-huh, right. very folly. And he's getting a lot of great compliments from it. Yeah. So he's going to be ready to try something. <laughs> so, awesome. so, so we'll, so you'll, we'll start baby step. And then what's like the next thing you would recommend? So then after that, um, you know, now we have to decide, do we want to go full custom? And so mm -hmm. as Lauren was saying, right, this is a full custom garment over here. Mm -hmm. And so even on some of the higher end things that we do, you'll have some functional buttonholes on it, but it's like now do we want to open up our buttonholes on our on our sleeves? Mm. For the gentleman that's just starting, mm -hmm. he would probably say, no, keep them closed for me, mm -hmm. which is okay, but they're still functional, just, just so he can know that, mm -hmm. hey, just in case I ever do get to that point I've where I want to open it. I've you've opened your buttonholes. Exactly. So I normally open a couple just yeah. to let people know that it's custom. So uh -huh. it's just something that as you feel good about it, mm -hmm. um, you can do that. Interesting. So I would say we decide whether, do, does he want to do custom or does he want to do something more um, off the rack okay. and so I think that would be the next step as okay. to what if, if you really want to express yourself then it should be custom right. mm -hmm. because I mean sky's the limit as far as you know these are just Patterns. three of the books that I have mm -hmm. but I have so many books that we can choose from and like I said patterns stripes checks 
Wendell Pains, what do you want? Well, and you would you would advise him, right? You would you if he picked something that like it was ridiculous, <laughs> you would be like, let's move you back over here. So right? we call those dog cloths. <laughs> <in the industry, laughs> right? So yeah, obviously I would not want to put any of my clients in a dog cloth because that doesn't do me any well. I want them getting good. compliments because yeah. if they're getting compliments, then I'm getting referrals. That's right. And so that's kind of how this business works. So yeah, I do. My job is to say, you know what? That may not be the right color. For for you mm -hmm. that may not be the right pattern for you and so mm -hmm. for the most part most of my clients will take my advisement mm -hmm. but then there's a lot of gentlemen that you know, I don't care what the book says I don't care what you say I'm wearing it yeah. and, that's well, and that's what they that's, that's and if their they prerogative. love it that much they will be confident in it that's, that's the difference true. it is all about confidence uh -huh. so once a man tries on like that next level mm -hmm. look and feel he doesn't go back. It's mm -hmm. not like women. Women are constantly back and forth. That's right. But men are constantly on the up level. Interesting. It's, it's I've never really thought of that before. True. That is yeah. a true fact. Whether it's color or fabric, because if they go from a two hundred dollar suit to a two thousand dollar suit, you're gonna feel <laughs> the it, difference. It feels different. And they're like, oh my gosh, I could be wearing air. Mm -hmm. I can do that. And guess what? I only need two suits mm -hmm. instead of Five. ten. Five. Right. Mm -hmm. There you go. So yeah. let me get two fabulous pieces mm -hmm. that I'll wear forever and build on that as mm -hmm. a foundation of a true custom wardrobe mm. that expresses his style. Interesting. Does it change? Does the fashion, does men's fashion change a lot? It really does not. Mm. Um, so some individuals like to call me a designer yeah. and I just don't take that that title because I'm not a designer. I, yeah, sometimes I have to sketch and draw some things for, to send to my manufacturer. Sure. But for the most part, do you want a single breasted, right, three button with a low roll, notch lapel, do you want a double breasted with a peak lapel? Mm -hmm. It's all been said or done before. I um, used, yeah, so. I used to say that men's fashion changes about, about a quarter of an inch every 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so the lapel will come out a little bit, uh -huh. the lapel will go back in, I the see. tie will get a little bit wider, it'll get mm -hmm. a little bit narrower, uh -huh. maybe one year we'll be looking at flat end flat, ties yeah. right and another year we'll be talking about texture ties mm. but it's a, such a slow roll you have to really be watching it mm -hmm. to to know it's happening the only totally. thing i've really noticed over the years is that they sometimes they are more tapered now now is that they right? are more now they're more yes. tapered than so they those will be, be the changes is mm -hmm. is it going to be more um baggy mm -hmm. right a more baggier look or is it going to be more tapered mm -hmm. and so right now we are in that the flat tapered. front tapered Era. We're in a very body conscious that era. So if you look at what's happening in general around health and wellness and fitness, mm -hmm. then it stands to reason that our clothes are supposed to complement what we're actually doing and then complement your body type. Interesting. So I love how we've moved this conversation from what a piece of clothing looks like or is trendy mm -hmm. to how it complements the whole person. Totally. Yeah. It's, that it's is a part so of exciting. <laughs> okay, so I know we have to end, but tell us how we can get a hold of you. So I'm very easy to get a hold of. Um, so my website is UpperEchelonLTD.com. Okay. Um, Instagram is Upper Echelon underscore LTD, mm -hmm. and so you can catch me on Instagram. And my email, shall I give my email out? Sure. Uh, email is Trent Clark at Upper Echelon LTD.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And this was just a perfect way to end our It our was indeed. Today, Trent, right? thank you for thank our you, fashion Lauren boutique. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. And thank you for being with us. And good day, Orange County. See you next time. <laughs>